Hi everyone, welcome to Harry App Travel. So, I have just arrived in the Philippines and I thought of documenting my um, my adventure, the next chapter of my life. So, I'm moving here, hopefully permanently. Let's see how it how it goes. Um, so I arrived last night been through went through the Naia airport and then I had to take a P2P direct bus from Naia to Clark airport and then from Clark I took a taxi all the way to uh, this area this is a uh, uh, Kapas Crystal Ray to be exact um, it's near New Clark City um, where no, not where. I am. Um, I just bought a, a a a block of land near New Clark City, and hopefully, um, anyway. So I bought a block of land here in, near this area, and we. I will try to um, build um, like a small house, just for myself, really. And so I thought of just documenting this journey of me of mine. Okay, so I just went to the um, the Palenque, the local market. So uh, it's very convenient. So it's just a few meters walk away from here. So and then I went. Uh, I bought a few stuff, and look at what I I, I, I I got for less than twenty Australian dollars. I think it's only fifteen, fifteen six hundred pesos. So it's like eighteen dollars look look at the things that, that i was able to buy for 18 australian dollars for this. so i have the whole chicken i have a few of garlic ginger and then there is this my favorite corned beef i have soy sauce vinegar uh patties two kilos of rice a few onions and this uh ready to cook set of veggies the our uh, filipino favorite okay so that's that's what you get um uh if you move here in the philippines so um yeah and i rented this two <laughs> two bedroom apartment it's pretty good actually for 20 20 000 a month a month so this is much much cheaper than what i am paying in sydney for around 450 a week for a very small uh, studio apartment it's too expensive and that's why I thought oh I think to lessen my cost of living I should look for a place where I can <clears throat> lessen my cost of living and make uh, more bang for my back and also um, and also because I, I am home based at the moment so I'm basically uh, doing online trading and I have my travel uh, agency business, Hurry Up Travel. Please like my page. Okay, so, so I'm gonna show you the apartment. Uh, it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty good actually for uh, about 20K a month. So it's, yeah, it's like 600 Australian dollars. So I have everything here, fridge, there's, there are there's a kitchen, there is a, a bathroom, two bathrooms and toilet. Uh, and I have just moved in yesterday, so uh, it's a bit messy at the mom moment, okay? So yeah, and then there's an aircon there. Okay, there are fun. So it's pretty, pretty decent. Pretty decent for this kind of um, uh, lifestyle, okay? So pretty happy pretty excited this is my first day back to the Philippines and I hope this time is gonna be a lot of fun so watch out I'm gonna update you as often as I can okay okay now I'm gonna show you my bedroom so I have just fixed it I've unpacked all my stuff and um, yeah, so this is my cute, nice bedroom. So I have set up my 
bed and then my little corner there where I can my little corner where I can work so I have um, <clears throat> uh, 5g wireless oh no I'm not I'm not it's it's wired uh, it's fiber but it's very it's very uh, my internet is very fast I have like 50 MBS last night and I tested it again today and it, yeah it's still around 50 45 so it's pretty good it's a uh, it's uh, catching up Philippines is catching up with the rest of the world so that's my little toilet okay so that's my bedroom and um, yeah that's the area and this is another bedroom uh, it's empty there is a mattress uh, if there's a guest that I can accommodate that guest it's quite a nice um, little house with so that's my neighborhood there's a, and this is the like the porch porch area entrance area and there's a there's a parking space so <coughs> maybe later on if I I, uh, I might, I might, or I should, actually. but I'm not very fond of driving here in the Philippines. Maybe it's the provincia. You know, if you are in Metro Manila, it's, it's quite tough. People don't really follow the rules. I'm used to driving in Australia, and you know, people follow the rules here. It's like, oh, it's a the jungle out there and yeah it's a bit it's tough but I might consider driving in this area um, less people people maybe in Capas oh no no sorry in, in Clark I was there last night and there were a lot of people it's like a huge city around the uh, SM Clark there's a lot of people there okay so for lunch I ordered um sinigang na baboy but it wasn't good that was the worst sinigang na baboy that i have tasted it's like they used uh, tough meat and it doesn't doesn't feel fresh and the veggies are not fresh and yeah it's yeah it's kind of weird because usually sinigang na baboy is always good but that was not the worst i have tasted so far like oh this is this is uh, Kapas, this is Tarlac. Um, when it comes to food, I expect uh, there's a lot of expectations for Kapampangans. Pampangans are usually very good with cooking there, yeah, you know, sisig and all this kare kare is Kapampangan, so they are really good in culinary um, arts. And, but, but this is Kappa, so this is Tarlac, so maybe the Tarlac, tar, how do you call the Tarlac? Tarlacenios are not, uh, I'm, I, I can't generalize, but that was not good. Anyway, tonight I'm going to cook my own and, um, and buy some coffee and some water because you need to buy your own water because you can't drink water from the top here apparently um, so usually people buy um, this kind of stuff like, um, like that so like bottled water yeah so, so I have to get that I need to buy some coffee and and some eggs and yeah I'm loving it so far. So far, so good. I'm just, I just need a few more days to settle down and fix some things. And um, um, yeah, a little more things organized. And maybe next week, I will explore this area, especially the area where I bought the land, and and maybe um, talk to the builders and see and discuss my next plan.
So I went out and bought some. I was looking for some coffee. Couldn't find a proper coffee in a jar. Um, so what I found was this um, three-in-one coffee, like this three-in-one coffee co. So we'll try this one. Apparently it it tastes really sweet, but we'll see how it goes. And uh, yeah, and then I I just tried all sorts of flavors. I'm a coffee addict, and I bought this uh, Lipton tea. It's 10, 10 tea inside for ninety pesos. Um, yeah. And I grab some salt, either salt, and a little bit of sugar. So everything is relatively cheap. This is the famous Bear Brand uh, powdered milk. And I grab myself some Puchinta and Cassava cake. So I'm just gonna try Puchinta. I haven't tasted it, it's been a long time. Mm. It's good. This is the authentic Kuchinta that I grew up with. Hmm. I don't know if it's a cake. Yeah, it's a cake. Let's just grab. Have a bite. Hmm. Oh, damn. Hmm.